And now, do I have to put it in drive, or does it know? <laughs> Swipe. <laughs> Swipe what? forward for drive. <laughs> okay, so I'm in drive. A little surprise for you guys tonight. We're heading into Latrobe right now, which is home of Blackout Tinning. Uh, it's where I went to high school. And my friend Josh owns Blackout Tinning. Him and I were friends in high school. I think I met him in fifth grade and we played basketball together. But anyways, uh, check out their YouTube channel. It's linked down in the description below. If you need tint or paint protection film, paint corrections, or electric remotes, car starters, new sound system, I don't know. They, could, they do everything. Josh and I will talk about it a little bit more. But we're going to check out a Model S Plaid. I'm hoping that Josh has his GT4 there. Josh has a GT4 in Miami blue, uh, which honestly excites me more than any Tesla ever will as of right now, maybe a Tesla Roadster. Uh, but I can't, hopefully he brought that to work. He works his ass off. He's currently there. He's gonna be there all night working on, we'll see. But that's where we're heading right now. We're gonna see the Model S Plaid with the yoke steering wheel. I'm very excited. I'm excited. Okay, so just got the blackout, and as soon as as soon as I pull in here, I mean, look at this back here. It's like walking into the toy store. So if you guys are familiar, there's the YouTube channel uh, Horsepower Obsessed. This is their C8. It looks like it has a stealth wrap on it, which is sick. That looks amazing, so shout out to them. Um, so there's their C8, but here is what most of you guys will be interested in, is this plaid with the arachnid wheels. I think these are 22 inch wheels. No, sorry, these are 21 inch wheels. You can tell by the uh, Z, the R21 that shows the uh, wheel diameter. So those look amazing in satin black. Also, the black brake, brake calipers look great. They also did the full expel PPF on the front. They did the eight mil and then they tinted it and they're also going to be doing ceramic coating on the car. So let's take a look inside of here. There's the key and let's take a look inside the car. Jeez, this thing is beautiful. So I actually did drive a uh, Model S plat a Model S for the first time the other day, and the fit and finish and feel of the suspension of these cars matches the price of them, which is really nice to see. So let's get in it. Let's look at the yoke. Oh my god, it really is wild. It, it feels wider than a normal steering wheel, and I love the carbon fiber along here, man. That is. Gorgeous. I love the fabric they have here. This actually reminds me of the fabric that's in the Mustang Mach-E up along the dash. So you have the carbon fiber, beautiful LCD panel screen here. And then this is a huge upgrade for the Model S. I mean, this just looks amazing. Um, this is how it always should have been. I'm happy that they changed that. And what a beautiful car. The seats kind of wrap around you. Again, you have the fully panoramic roof can see out the back. I know you guys miss seeing that in mine. What an absolutely beautiful car. I think Josh and I are going to take this for a spin in a little bit. I love the Alcantara that they have here on the phone chargers. I think you could get used to this. Uh, I'm interested to see what Josh thinks of it. Josh does also have a Model Y, which is out front. Um, beautiful carbon fiber worker along here. I'm really impressed with the fit and finish of these things and the ride quality. Wow, what a beautiful car has the high gloss black finish on the diffuser which i like um, and then it has the carbon fiber satin finish across the top here very similar to the model y or any performance model from tesla which puts this on as a nice little but i mean here's look at this this is unbelievable this is something i see in my future uh the gt4 is one of the obviously the most highly sought after cars, but a car that doesn't lose value over time just because of, when that happens, it just shows you that either they didn't build enough or it's spec'd perfectly. Um, but yeah, so there's Model S Plaid and we're gonna go for a ride in it shortly, but let's take a look at Josh's Model Y, which he has out front. If you guys could do me a huge favor, please subscribe to Blackout Tinning right now. I just looked at it, they're at 3.59 thousand subscribers. And Josh is a Tesla owner, okay? Let's subscribe. Let's get him to 4,000 subscribers. If we can get him to 4,000 subscribers by August 15th, if we can get him to 4,000, I will do a giveaway with Hydrosilex, with Hydrosilex cleaning products. So I will be checking. Let's get him there. Anyways, here's Josh's stealth wrapped Model Y long range. This looks incredible. 
take a look at that. So the stealth paint protection film, it's still paint protection film, but it also gives you a, a matte finish on your car, which is sick. Blacked out the logo. Blackout tinning. Look at that. Blackout tinning right there and the Lord just spraying his bands down on us. Beautiful. But man, does that look good. I think that's Trump. Josh is gonna be coming out shortly and we're gonna go for a ride in this thing. Very excited. Also, love the hatch of the, how this is kind of like a hatchback trunk. Opens up, has a ton of space, has this as, as a cover. So it folds over like that. It's all like an Alcantara feel, very subtle, supple feeling to it. I mean, it has like, and these are magnets, I think, because it has a clamp and when I press up, it holds. So if you go over bumps, this isn't gonna rattle smart engineering there so that folds back obviously because it's a tesla has huge storage compartment under there or storage department whatever you want to say it's your world look at this thing. i mean it's just a beautiful car and the fit and finish is there for what these things cost i mean in the performance you think that's what a lot of people forget you people complain about tesla fit and finish but you can't match the performance for the price it's not even close really really nicely done i'm excited to uh Excited to go on a test drive. We're strapped on, the chest strap is in place. Josh here from Blackout Tinning, owner. We went to high school together, had physics class together. <laughs> and now here we are. He's uh, buying every building in every state in the United States and Blackout is taking over. So like I said, subscribe to his channel. You guys are at 3.59 yes. thousand. Yes. If I said, if we can get to four by August 15th, I'll do a giveaway. Okay. In your honor. I appreciate that. So if we can get to four. Let's get to four. Get to four, and then we'll press on from there. Then 10K, we'll rise together. But anyways, we're heading over to the Model S Plaid. And I'm. You, are you going to ride along, or you yeah, have I'll, stuff to I'll do? Hop in. It's up to you. Yeah, if, yeah. I, okay, cool. So we're going to hop in the Model S Plaid. And as I approach, doors open up. Ugh. Oh my goodness. So the, the yoke steering wheel, I mean, I don't know. It, it's like, it feels wider than a normal wheel. I'll say that. And now do I have to put it in drive or does it know? You just swipe. <laughs> swipe what? forward for drive. <laughs> okay, so I'm in drive. That's it. You gotta check to see if you're in plaid mode though. Okay. Just so click on the car. All right. Probably should be driving. Pedals. Acceleration. Yeah, it's under plaid. Okay, we're in plaid mode, which is the only mode that matters right now. Ever. Ever. So what if I want to turn? Oh, there's the turn signal. So it's on the steering wheel. Okay. It's like a Ferrari. All right. So just normal acceleration. I will say that, like I was talking about this earlier, the ride quality in this matches what these cost. Yes. It oh, feels yeah. like an S class. It feels like a seven series, you it know, does. something like that. Yeah, this steering wheel is a little goofy. Very weird. Oh my <laughs> God. Dude, this is, this should not, this should be illegal right now. Yep. Holy cow. It loses traction. Oh my Jesus. Like you can act, I've never driven a test where I feel the wheels yeah, the tires. You can, you can feel the, the steering. Yeah, yeah, it was like torque steer. Yeah, yeah, wow. And this this display is beautiful. That looks really nice. Quiet ride. They've eliminated all the road noise. The suspension's great. It has an air suspension. Feel free to stop. Yeah, let's do a... <laughs> this is what we... <laughs> this is not... This is... All right, so let's just... This is my first time experiencing it from the passenger side. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. <laughs> that is, what is that? What is that? Oh my God. I've never ever experienced anything like that. <laughs> the walls closed in on me. It's holy hell. I want one, man. Yeah. Good God. I mean, you just, it's like, how quickly do you want to get to 100? 
Yeah. It's not even about zero to 60. Jeez. According to the owner, it's not as fast as it could be right now because it's not at a full charge. And also, yeah, I'm not true. trying the launch mode because it's not my car. Yeah, that's, no. But yeah, just to he be able picks to... it up, oh he said he'll, he'll launch yeah. it for you. Yeah, so you'll, I'm sure you'll have that, get that on your channel oh, for yeah. sure. So yeah, guys, if you want to see that video, go over to Josh's channel, Blackout Tinning. It'll be in the description. Something. I can't believe how much faster it feels from here. Yeah. The passenger seat. Because you don't have anything to hold that's on That's what I mean. Like, it, when you're there, like, you can sort of brace yourself. Passenger seat always feels faster. Holy crap, it's insane. Right. Yeah. It feels like a jet taken. It's faster than a jet, I think. <laughs> yeah, it would have to be, right? <laughs> this wild. first jet. That's your next thing. That'd be a video. Get the airport. He has his own airport and his own jet. Well. <laughs> what is the range? 400 I think it's or something. 375 wow. on this model. But if you got a long range, then it would be, yeah, for over 400. So get used to the. Oh, there's a little vibration when you click the turn signal. <laughs> so you, like, know you hit it. Looks like the horn is here. It's cool. Oh yeah, he's got a liquor garage. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> it's actually nice in a parking lot to steer the yoke as opposed to... Yeah. So that's reverse now, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess I can get used to that. As long as the screen works. I love Elon. Yeah. The dude's nuts. He's nuts. Like when they ask you why he did something, he says, why not? Yep. It's such a perfect answer. Okay, so now park, tap to park. And we're good to go. Sweet. So there you go. Model S Plaid Edition. Yoke steering wheel. I understand why he doesn't want to make a Plaid Plus. Yeah. It's unnecessary. Yeah, I don't, what, it's, what, two tenths faster? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't need it. I promise you don't need it. So there you guys go. I will return the key to Josh before I forget that. Nice of a bird to do a drive-by right after you, uh, yeah. Well, no coating on it yet. Yeah, so you're doing your coating, and then after Josh does the coating, this is going to be less of an issue. That'll come right off because you'll have the right ceramic coating. All right, awesome. Now on to, I mean, this is this excites me even more. So this is what's next.